Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, several of you have, of course, been waiting for me to commentate your crystal openings, and I must say that it's um, it's one of those things that I'm honored to do, but I'm also overwhelmed because I am so far behind. That brings us to today's crystal opening submission, uh, brought to you by Jose uh, Hernandez. In game, Manguito CC, though, Jose, you covered up one of the C's with your 19 notifications. So, you can see he got old Dr. Doom in there and swapped him in. And part of this is a little bit of an education, I guess, on taking down that guillotine 2099 with good old Doom. This is the kind of thing that makes people say, Prof, you are an idiot for not just immediately taking Doom to rank four before Black Widow Clairvoyant. And, you know, in most cases, for most people, I'd say I understand that argument, but I just use Black Widow Clairvoyant more. She's an Alliance Quest MVP. And when you run suicides, you need people that regen because you're going to be using quite a few specials. And I love using special twos with Black Widow Clairvoyant and getting that regen back. Whereas every time I use an amazing special two like dooms you just saw with the incinerates uh it's a problem because well he takes five percent recoil damage if i didn't have suicides on yeah doom would be a more logical choice for a lot of ways but i still i make enough mistakes in fights that i need uh, a do-over that doesn't require me to use items because we are also it looks like done having uh, compensation on Wednesdays from now on. I think tomorrow is the first Wednesday that we're supposed to get uh, zero compensation for Alliance Quest and Alliance War. We'll see if that's true. Same company that says there's been zero reported uh, Android problems with performance, even though there are pages and pages and pages and pages of forum posts over that exact issue that they're just not addressing and they're ignoring or deleting. To this day, even though they've said mission accomplished. Um, okay, so, you know, it's just a rinse and repeat back and forth, which you got to love, because Gating 29 usually have to fire off that heavy, but Doom's got that fantastic Doom Slap heavy that you can just factor in and work into this fight. That just becomes building up a special two draining power and having it be a very smooth fight. And, uh, yeah, not the best in terms of damage on that special two, given the nodes, but he's down to 3%. And... Rot row. That would kill most champions, but he's got that probably that six star rank three. So not him. Get some of that health loss back thanks to the six star mechanic. And there you go. Alright. That has allowed him. Oof. That's tough when you don't have any small energy refills left, so you have to buy a full energy to go three worth. Allows him to explore this. And... I forget what chapter this is. It's not 7-4, right? Maybe? Maybe it's 7-3? Let me, let me go back to my data... Well, it says it's 7-4 exploration. Maybe he just hasn't explored all the X6 yet. Because we don't see the generic 6-star. We don't see two more 6-star Nexus. We don't see the 6-stones. Most importantly, we don't see um, the rank 3 to rank 4 rank up gem crystal. But, hey, 7-4... Other than Kang, for me, a lot of you think Kang is your favorite fight ever. You understand why I spent 40-plus revives to take him down the first time. Which, again, I understand. Um, but, um, yeah, we'll see if this is worth it. The Nexus will largely determine it. I'll be curious what he's got left.
think it's just the Nexus, bud. Let's see if he gets rewarded for doing 7-4 exploration first before all of Act 7. Alright, first one is the Dad Bod Awakened or Immortal Abomination Awakened. That would be an incredible crystal if this was a science nexus, but of course it's not a class-based nexus. It is a uh, all classes generic, and that is uh, really impressive. Dad Bod benefits more, but I think you'll use Immortal Abomination more. So I get that, that thinking, believe it or not. All right, last Nexus and an interesting one as well. Hulkbuster is one of my MVPs almost every month for Cavalry Event Quest. He not only is a tank, but he's just got so much freaking utility. So I'm all about Hulkbuster in this case too. Hulkbuster? So exploring 7.4 first actually worked out. Those are two of the best Nexus you could think of. Uh, realistically. A new Hulkbuster and Awakening of Mortal Abomination. Shout out to Hulkbuster. Um, Alright, Jose. No way, Jose. You did it. I always wanted to say that in a video. Uh, thanks for submission. Have a great rest of your day.